couples worry about this all the time when they are styling their wedding venue. I'm Ria, wedding stationery designer and stylist, and I love helping couples like you have fun while you plan your wedding. I hear this from couples all the time when it comes to styling their own venue. They are worried that they are not going to have enough props to fill the space. Today, I thought I would share five amazing tips to help you make sure that you have got enough props to help you decorate your venue. So I'm really excited about this one, so let's get into it. First tip is that you need to pick the right size venue for the amount of guests that you have attending your wedding. So it's important to know your numbers before you go and look at venues because this is really going to make a big difference. Obviously, you don't want to pick anything that's too small because then it's going to all feel crammed in and you're not going to have any space to put anything and your guests are going to feel like they're on top of each other. Also, don't want to pick anything too big because that will feel too spacious and it can feel really empty. And in that case, you'll probably lose like a bit of the atmosphere that you want from your wedding. So it's really important to get the balance just right. But having a good idea of your numbers of guests first is key to choosing the right size venue. It's really good these days because a lot of venues have got a lot of choice. So some venues might have smaller rooms and bigger function rooms so that it caters for smaller weddings and larger weddings, which is really good for weighing up your options before you actually make a decision. So the second tip is to make sure that you make big features of the areas that you are going to style. So your key areas, like your table plan and your welcome area, they all are made a fuss of. This helps fill in any blank space and makes the venue feel more decorated. We are seeing couples make more of a fuss of these areas because it all needs to feel cohesive and really bring in all the elements of the design. If you are putting a welcome signs in a corner, it's just gonna feel lost. So it's great to build in a feature. We're seeing this happen a lot with table plans. Couples are getting much much more creative and having bigger table plans and this is all to help fill spaces because nobody wants their wedding to feel empty and like you've not bothered with the decoration. So the third tip is to make sure you consider your ceiling height in the venue. So as well as what's going on down at ground level and at eye level you really want to think about what's happening above. Whether your venue is small or large they might have like a high ceiling, might have wooden beams going from one side to the other and it's really important to consider this space because if you don't put anything above it can look really empty and to your guests that will look like you've not decorated it enough. So when it comes to this kind of thing you want to think about hanging things from beams and from corner to corner to make sure that you fill that space above so that it brings it down to like an intimate level. There's lots of things you can do from draping to bunting to festin lanterns and to lights. It just helps fill all that space to make sure that you've thought about everything. The fourth tip is to choose larger props to help you decorate your venue. There's a time and a place for the smaller details which will be on your tablescapes and obviously any little finishing touches but the other decor like the welcome area, the guest book area, the table plan, any wedding signage, you need to go big to fill these corners and empty spaces. Especially if you have a lot of white walls it can just look a bit stark and it'll look like you've not decorated it enough. So it's definitely worth using larger props and bringing those into your design. Fill the spaces that feel like a little bit empty and it also adds a lot more character and interest. So the fifth tip is to create yourself a separate area. So basically if you have got too much space in one area of your venue that's not going to be used for anything but just looks a little bit bare, then you could turn it into a zone that your guests can enjoy. So it could be a chill out zone where you have got some sofas where your guests can go to have a drink and chat to each other. It could be a dance floor area and you could make a feature of it with like some big signs and some disco balls. That could be a nice place for your guests to dance. It could be anything, but it could be a favourite area where you have got a big space and you've decided you want to do a big display and make a feature of it because you've got the room and it's somewhere your guests can go on their way 
out of the wedding and pick up their wedding favour. I think this is a great idea because it fills any empty space that you've got and brings all the elements together. I hope this video has been super helpful and if you have enjoyed it please remember to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified of any new videos that go live. Thanks so much for watching, I will see you in my next video.